Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video about how to clean this up. It had a bunch of double line. And then I thought, instead of cleaning this one up too, which has some problems, and I'd have to do a lot of work, well, I can use this one to make this one very easily. So let's just take this one out of the way, and let's take this one and hit the plus key on our keyboard and hit P, put it in the center of the page. Then take a two-point line, start moving, hold down the control button, and hit P. That put it in the center of the cross. Now we take another one, and you could actually probably do it this way. Two-point line from that node, holding down the control button, and go. you can go past that node. It doesn't really matter. You just kind of visually look at it and make sure we're there. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Now... One reason I decided to make the video because the alt key can come into play here a lot. So before I do anything, I'm going to go by, so just in case I forget, I'm going to delete these lines. Whoop, went too far. And I'm going to delete these lines so I won't forget to do them. And let me zoom in here. But then we're going to use the alt key, and I can go ahead and delete this bottom one while we're here. I'm gonna use the Alt key to delete these lines much easier. So I need to delete all the lines on this side of the cross. So if I didn't use the Alt key and I get my virtual segment delete key, when I get up in here, I'm gonna start drawing a box. And I could draw a straight line, but you're gonna mess up and delete too much. So if you use your Alt key, with your virtual segment delete key, it'll just follow your mouse. And then that way I can go here, go all the way over here. I'm not gonna go all the way just to play it safe, but I deleted all those lines. Then I'm gonna go back and delete that one, that one, and that, whoop, might have went too far. Let's back up here and just delete that side. That's pretty cool. Now I need to delete this side. And if you did not use the Alt key, you couldn't take this turn. So if you use the Alt key, holding it down, and pretty much wherever your mouse goes, if your hand's pretty steady. Now, instead of going off the screen, I'm just going to stop the, let go of the mouse in it. Let me go ahead and zoom in and delete that. Now, all we have to do is do this bottom section holding down the Alt key and look at that, that quick. Now, what I need to do, it's good. I need to make all those lines a black hairline. So we're gonna select it all and you'll go down here several outlines. But if we go, if we right click, well, I actually want them to be black and I want them to be hairline. Then what we can do is I want to cut a border around this. So I'm going to use the, let me see how big this is. It's almost five inches. I'm going to set my nudge factor on eight. I am going to hit a border around it and I'm going to move that over. Now I'm going to go up to effects, contour. I'm going to contour the outside 0 0.01 outside. And then I'm gonna go up to object and break contour apart. I can click on the center one and move it out of the way. This is my bigger one and I can nudge it back. Now I have a red cut line around my cross. That might be a little bit much, but all the other lines are gonna vector engrave. And then this is gonna vector cut. I missed a line. So what I would do now whoop, is go ahead and take your outline and the way the boundary tool worked, it was because they were all broken apart. Control G and make a group of that. And then tomorrow when I cut this out, I'm gonna show you where the files, I'm gonna share all these files once I clean them all up. Um, I've really done them all except for I need to look at the, the no fill or no, he called it shading, but that'll be just like I just did. So stay tuned tomorrow for and this is a pretty cool file.
Um, it's got some leaves and grapes that I've already worked on a little bit, but I need to work on a few more of them just to make sure they're not going to cut out twice. And we're not going to cut them out. We're going to vector engrave them. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.